It's so cold in my house. <laughs> it's so cold. It is here, too. This is the year where we freeze our podcasts off. That's correct. That is correct. <laughs> but that is not going to stop us from uh, from podcasting our brains out. <clears throat> it's going to be amazing. Uh, so th- this this question, no brainer. This this question is a no brainer. Um, uh, it's uh, it's super easy, and it is a question that we ask every year. Sorg, tell me, and everyone, tell me, what are you thankful for in professional wrestling? Hmm. I'm thankful for NXT. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I'll go first. Let's. It's obvious. I'm thankful for NXT. Not only because it's good and entertaining wrestling under the WWE banner, because it is forcing so many other organizations and so many other wrestlers to up their game. It's mm-hmm. great. I love seeing it. Thank you, Pilgrim Jesus, for NXT. <laughs> <laughs> I will uh I will go I will extend that one part- like partially partially because well NXT is there of course but the WWE network in general in a world where I've cut the cord You're welcome Sorg <laughs> God, I can't take all the credit but I will In a world where I've cut the cord so many times that uh that that you know I don't even see commercials but yet I can just turn on something when I just want something on and don't want to think about it, and that thing is something about professional wrestling. As was the case today, because you know I have a weird schedule because of podcast day and everything, so I was taking kind of a downtime uh, around 4.30 here, and I could just put on the TV, fire up that Fire TV stick, and uh, watch WWE Network, and the W list was on, and uh, followed by Rivalries, and I can just go... As long as it's not Total Divas, because Total Divas is the cops of WWE Network. Um, <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, that's so accurate. That is true. <sighs> if you watch the stream and have turned it on, and be like, I'd love to watch some wrestling kind of thing right now. Oh crap, Total Divas is on. Moving on. I'm going to go watch Fall Brawl 98 or something. Um, but you can do that, and that's an amazing thing. Like I was just kind of pondering on that today of how at our fingertips this is in the day and age that we, we are paying $10 a month, most of us. Uh, 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 WWE pay-per-view piracy is, should be all but dead at this point. We're talking about how many more people watch WrestleMania than ever before because of this, and WWE is profiting off of this thing. Um and it's such a great service to the fans of it, whether you do or don't like what's going on today. And then there's different programming, and and uh, and I think it's really cool. I mean, we're all loving the Breaking Ground series and, and other things that are popping up there. Maybe not swerved as much, but hey, there's going to be some misses. Table three, um, you know, stuff like that. It's it's just just so awesome to to see this kind of thing and uh, and and let it permeate your life. And, and 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 something like that. And thankfully, so can I as a secondarily thankfully thing, so thankful that I have a wife that tolerates my obsession with professional wrestling. <laughs> and uh, uh and, and, yes, an underrated commodity for sure. So uh-huh, uh-huh. there's 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 people out there. I you you may have met may know these people that uh are are pro wrestling fans, but have to live this existence where they have to sidestep their fandom uh, around their significant other because they absolutely abhor professional wrestling. And I, I just can't imagine living like that. I don't know. I don't know. It's crazy. But um, I don't know. That's mine. That's mine. Carlin's? Well, all right. I guess I'll steal what Mad Mike is probably thinking. I'm thankful for Lucha Underground, my freaking jam. And Mad Mike's too. So I'm not going to say too much more about Lucha Underground other than I'm very thankful for it. I will do an extra aside completely out of left field only because it uh, recently came to mind. I'm thankful for Dean Malenko. And I'm (laughs) thankful for all the great memories the wrestling dad has given me over the years. You know, recently they did a uh, Takis Jericho podcast and he had Dean Malenko on his podcast. And I never really like heard Dean Malenko in that setting before. He's like this, he's, he's like hidden away from us now that he's retired. I never even heard hear from him. Hell, I rarely heard from him when he was wrestling. Anyway, um, Dean Malenko, you were a great wrestler. 
you were one of the primary reasons that I got fully stoked and into professional wrestling in the late 90s. Watching you in the ring made me crazy. Just watching the precision in the moves made me appreciate professional wrestling on a whole new level. And Dean, I know you're watching. I just want to say you are appreciated. Just like Tupac appreciates his mama, I appreciate Dean Malenko. Now, Mike, say something nice about Lucha Underground. Well, I was going to say I'm very thankful for Lucha Underground and for friend of the show, Chris Joseph, who is a fan of us. Um, but you know what? I'm going to shock the podcast world. I'm thankful for TNA Impact. Shut your what? mouth. No. Now, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. I am thankful because watching TNA for eight weeks a month and podcasting about it for roughly two hours a month. Wait, 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 wait. Did you just say eight weeks a month? That's what it feels like. I meant to say eight hours. Okay. Okay. I just wanted to eight hours. Yes, sure cool. Eight hours. I meant to say eight hours. It feels like eight weeks. But watching TNA for eight hours a month and podcasting about it for roughly two hours a month is cheaper than therapy. Because I get to be angry and just yell at my TV for all the stupid, <laughs> stupid, stupid things we do. And also, I am legitimately thankful because without TNA, we would not have Ethan Carter. I'd like to piggyback on that too and also say why I'm thankful for TNA Wrestling. I'm thankful that there's a giant, insane money panda willing to spend all this money <laughs> and give money a bunch of wrestlers a place to work and oh. ply their trade and lose unknown amounts of money just so that these professional wrestlers can live their lives. Praise and that's why be. I'm thankful for TNA. Praise be to the money panda. <laughs> okay uh we had some of the comments this question throughout the day uh alex carr says he's thankful for the opportunity to be writing about smackdown every week because more often than not i enjoy a lot of what i watch from that show I i'm with him on that smackdown is is, is completely underrated and, and, and overlooked as far as i'm concerned if we can just switch that with raw we'd be okay uh, complete complete honesty uh i, I think as we mentioned on this show from time to time sorg SmackDown is perfect. It's only two hours, and John Cena's never on it. So mm -hmm. it is mm -hmm. the perfect wrestling show. You are 50% correct. <laughs> <laughs> I'm thankful for my local indie wrestling promotions, especially now that I've started doing projects with one in particular. And I'm thankful for podcasts like WMS covering the best and not so best of pro wrestling. You know, we should just do a side podcast that's just like everything that sucks in wrestling. Like, just like, let's just put, pour all the negativity Sork. into one place. Sork. Oh, wait. I direct you to the Impact Wrestling Midweek War podcast. That, that's true. Okay. Say, isn't right. that what this is for? I thought was, that's what we were doing. Okay. All right. Um, and also uh, our, our buddy Ed Burke, Magma Priest. 